everybody wants to have nice on-trend finishes in their homes and in their rental homes. Not only does it attract better quality tenants, but usually you can even charge higher rent. It also just looks nice and creates a really nice vibe. There's always that worry in the back of your head that whoever the tenant is, is just not gonna treat it the same way you would. Unfortunately, that is a realistic reality, but there's a lot of happy medium finishes that you can pick for your rental that will still look nice and also provide the durability that you're looking for. Let's talk about kitchen countertops. Kitchen countertops are so important. They're a main staple in the house, and quite often, they can actually be a deal breaker for somebody looking to live there. Many people are doing quartz countertops these days because it looks very nice and it's also extremely durable. Because it's a manufactured product and not real stone, sometimes it can actually be cheaper than granite and it's definitely a lot more durable. But is it a good idea to put it in your rental properties? In my opinion, yes. It's somewhat become a bit of a standard these days and a lot of tenants won't even consider looking at the property if the bare minimum countertop isn't quartz. It might be a little bit more of an investment on your part in the beginning, but it's gonna age very, very well, provide a lot of durability, and it's gonna get you those higher end tenants that you want. Next up, Backsplash. It has to complement the countertops. It doesn't need to be anything fancy and it should be easy to clean. There is a lot of debate on whether or not backsplash is actually necessary, but in my opinion, it is. It just completes the look of the kitchen and provides that little sort of bow on top. It actually might even be better off to have that in your property long-term because if you're constantly washing the walls, that is actually something that can deteriorate over time versus just washing a backsplash every day after cooking. Backsplash panels seems to be a very popular choice among investors. Backsplash panels are extremely easy to clean, so it really hits all the boxes for your tenant, you and your contractor. Some investors have also been tuning vinyl headboard and this stuff can actually even be painted if you want to. It's also waterproof and very easy to clean. Backsplash panels and vinyl headboard are probably the most cost efficient backsplashes that you can include in your rental and they're likely to stand the test of time durability wise with your tenants. Flooring, just like the kitchen countertops, are a main staple in a home. They really set the tone for the entire space. So this is something that really can't be negotiated. They have to be somewhat modern. So as of late, vinyl plank flooring has been the number one used material by real estate investors in their rental properties. And people are starting to put this type of flooring in their own homes as well. The durability is amazing and it completely outdoes any other type of flooring. The appearance looks great and it's extremely cost effective. It's also water resistant, which is huge because lots of people are wanting to pull in the same flooring into their kitchen. And let's be honest, you're spilling water and food and all sorts of things all over the floor in the kitchen. So you need to have a flooring that's gonna be water resistant and very easy to clean. It also doesn't take very long to install at all. So you can even opt in to do it yourself or save your contractor some time by choosing vinyl plank hardwood. Those are some trendy and durable materials that you can research more to put into your rental property. And for more real estate content, please subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Instagram for more.